Valentine's Day. Be my Valentine. No, it's like Kelly, Kelly Dodd. Dodd. Uh, Valentine's Day for or against. We're about to have a discussion and talk about our favourite Valentine's It's not a discussion. Products. We both have the same... You first. We both have the same opinion. She's really anti Valentine's Day. No, because Day. I think it's designed to make people feel superior or inferior. It's Valentine's Day. We think it's a bit of a con. Yeah. However, Joe's family have a really, really lovely tradition of turning on his head, which is... Uh, I send Valentine's cards to the kids. I know, which is so lovely. So let's start by talking about fun Valentine's Day kids stuff teen stuff mm. which basically means that valentine's day just becomes a celebration of everybody you love yeah, not agreed. just your partner and i need to start with this mad beauty is basically a uk based company and they've done in watford in watford and they've done a collaboration it's available in boots and madbeauty.com with disney and it's heart we're going to end up putting these on, right? So I'm going to show you. So it's basically Mickey and Minnie bait. So there are sheet mar pods. Oh, they're cute. I hope your daughters aren't watching this because I have a sneaking suspicion this is what they're going to do. Don't get. worry, they're not interested in anything I do, so I don't think so. And then also they've got little, look, bath bombs. They're cute. Do you remember that? Yeah, so you basically Do you know who will love that, Arthur? Arthur will love that. Because it spins. Yeah. And you will. So basically you can choose your... Different bath mini, bomb. mini bath bombs. So this is Mad Beauty. Love them. If you want to buy your teenagers or young people in your love, yeah. just a bit of fun. And then we're going to end up putting some... Uh, oh, 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 oh. That's actually... Look, look. This is quite lot. Okay. Um, that's my company to go to. They're available in Boots, but also at madbeauty.com. So let's start with the fact that Valentine's Day should just be, if you're going to celebrate it, a celebration with everybody you love in your life. Yeah, so we thought we'd do the people we love most ourselves <laughs> someone's got her <laughs> somebody's got a lover so what we thought we'd do is we'd talk about the things that we would buy actually you could buy for anybody that we love that are maybe home or fragrance based mm. start now, with listen, you look, there is like one no-brainer say i've got someone to buy for and they're really difficult to buy for or i don't know what to get them just go to diptyque yeah just go to diptyque totally. get a candle get a room fragrance Get a fragrance and it will be a winner. So my oh. absolute all-time favourite fragrance, and it's a home fragrance. They do not make it for the body, and I don't know why. I have nagged those co-creators so many times. It's Ferdinand. I can't actually, I've never done that before. There's a reason why. That's a really big heart. She was going about the side of her hands. Feu de Bois, <laughs> it is wood fire, wood logs. Oh. It's absolutely beautiful. Smells of a beautiful open fire. And it's just lovely. And I spray it into my black lampshades and it just gently scents the room when you That's turn the gorgeous. light on. I love it. These last for a long time. They're really well. long time. The fact that I just had to wipe the dust off the top of that says it all. I just absolutely love it. But I, that I, you know, it's very interesting. You got this out and you said to me, I've got a fragrance. Generally, Joe doesn't like fragrance. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to mention a couple of fragrances she's going to hate because she hates a room rocker. Yeah, but actually, you love Diptyque de Son. Yeah, I do. I mean, I mean the brand. That. You just love the brand, The don't brand. You? And like... It's this blue, it's the... It's not I about love, the fragrance at all. But I, I do actually, weirdly, I love this fragrance and I don't like many fragrances. Or very many, light, if very any. fresh, very... Citrusy. Slightly citrusy, but what's interesting about it is at the moment, Space and K are doing a massive push on it and they call it, and it's very interesting with your next fragrance as well, they call it the fragrance of memories and I really love it. It's, it's beautiful, called, isn't How it? do we say it? De Somme. De Somme. De Somme. De Somme. De Somme. It's yeah. big. The thing like this, any even if you buy someone a diptyque candle or a diptyque fragrance and it's not the fragrance for them, they will love it anyway because it's diptyque and it's beautiful and it's an amazing thing to have. And either change it for something they do love or just learn to love the fragrance. But if you're because... going to buy a fragrance for anybody from the diptyque collection, I would buy De Somme because yeah. it's really accessible, easy to wear, easy to use. Even if you don't like the fragrance and you don't wear fragrance, you can, as I say, even spray the fragrances into your light fittings. I would describe this as a grown-up white flower, slightly soft, slightly powdery mm. with a slight citrus hint. And that makes it easily accessible. But unlike most easily accessible fragrances, it's not sweet and sickly. First of all, I have a lot of candles in my house. I have a lot. You do, a right. lot. I liked them. I have a very, I have an aversion to people who buy things and either save it for best, whatever that means, or don't like them. Because 
What's the point of having it's it? It's interesting that you scent your house so much and you don't scent your Yeah, garden. I love, I love my house to smell good. I've got one of those aromatherapy associates diffusers. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Love it. Although, actually, someone bought me Diptyque patchouli, room spray, banned. Yeah, too you're strong, not a patchouli too person. Heavy. You're not a room rocker person. So I would say that smells like a Japanese, a Kyoto temple. White flowers, tiny little bit of incense, bit of like really blossom. subtle. Blossom, that's what it's like. Cherry blossom. It basically smells like a Kyoto. It is, it's, it's like this, it's zen, yeah. isn't it? It's very is zen. zen. It's absolutely beautiful. One other home fragrance that I completely use the whole time, and that is Shop, right? Okay, which is from Desiem, and it's what their shops smell of, and it smells amazing. Oh. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to smell, you might be a bit strong for you, but what I'm going to do, so it was created by Brandon Truex, who technically could have been a nose. He was so talented. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to spray them on the, the roses. What do you think of that? God, I don't hate it. It's much more herbal, woody, God, fresh. it is completely not what I was expecting. Yeah. And also smelling a rose that doesn't smell <laughs> roses. It's is like herbal. Oh, mind fuck. <laughs> it smells a little bit medicinal. Yeah, and I quite like that. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. It's really nice. It smells clean, Be fresh. Be nice for downstairs. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do you know what I do really like? What? Pour water by Daffodil. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I love Can it. I just I love it. I created a piece of content for Very where I basically dug out some iconic fragrances that are iconic for a really good mm. reason. Cool water by Davidoff is really that's why you like citrus because well, as a teen you were imprinted oh with good memories God. of yes. good citrusy fragrance. Because do you know what I did? I went and had the best holiday I've ever had without my parents. You know, like that yeah. first sort of holiday. It was so amazing boys. to a beef. Yeah. And I bought the cool water at the um, airport. I wore it all the way through the holiday. And now whenever I smell you're it, you're imprinted with it's good a memories. Good time. I yeah. can't. I it's a good go time in a then. bottle. Yeah. Yeah. I had a good time. I knew how to enjoy myself back then. You still do now, <laughs> darling. Uh, talk to me about the candle. Oh. Is this your all-time favourite candle or is it the one you're loving at the moment? No, I think it's by Radio Burning Rose. Smell of Rose sweet for me. Oh, see, I, I like mean, it's very it. sexy. Yeah. It's not a lightweight... It's quite a smoky rose. It's not a lightweight sort of draw liner granny rose it's a full-on baba boom entire earthy woody rose but it's just i'm not a rose person i think again it was attached to good memory this is the this is the fragrance that when we launched glossier they this was emily vice's favorite candle this is, i love the way that skin. you describe fragrance because obviously i don't engage with it even like in the written word or you anything. don't really engage with me most of the time do you yeah of course you have to like it goes in one ear and out the other well, that's not my fault, is it? I'm neurodivergent. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Aren't you the best? Treat right. yourself. Okay. Right. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Can I just say, can we talk about your earrings as well? Because we, you mentioned them in the last video, but I need to know. So basically, she's discovered this company that do little stick-on mm. bits of jewellery. How long do they last they're for? Not even, they're just like stickers. They're, it's, they're and what are they called? It's called Bake Up. The brand, it's a makeup brand okay. in America. I saw them on Instagram. And influenced. Influenced. And basically they had neon little palette of colours. And yeah. I love neon. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I'll buy that. And, and then why I are you saw, online? Yeah. I saw that they had these little, they're little stickers. They're so cute. Do and they last beyond a single application? Yeah. No. Because they're tiny. They wash off, yeah. They? But this lasted, I put these in, these have been on for two days. Oh, and I've washed my hair. Yeah. Um, but you can put them. Like, they are really cool. They're cute, right? No, but they're really cool on your ears. Yeah. So I mean, you don't have a piercing. How many real piercings have you got? And how many? Four on one side. Okay. You've got piercings, haven't you? Yeah, I've got, got two on one and one on the other. I've got four on one and three on the other. I so love that. Reason. That's really clever. And you So can... all the higher ones where it's really painful to get pierced. Oh, I'm not having Joe's that. are all fake. Now, we're going to talk about. A couple of fragrances Joe will kindly just hide at the moment because I love a room rocker. You have a spray it, are My favourite, no, not in front of you. I <sighs> my favourite fragrance of all time when I smell it on my friends and I literally just want to go in for the deepest hug stroke dry hump is Portrait of a Lady. I love this fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. However, it is a room rocker. So it's one of the Frederick Mal fragrances and it's by a nose called Dominic Ropion. Our mutual friend Victoria wears it and every time she wears it and she's got this beautiful thick hair, I just associate it with her 
amazing scarves and long hair and it's just to me i love it i will wear it on special occasions but i have to be it's really nice careful to sniff in the it, they do tend to give you a bit of a headache yeah no it's not for you is it oh, God, so love it. So and even when they walk Thank past you. you in the street and you're just oh, like i love that. nothing more than a hit of portrait of a lady on the street mm -hmm. nine times out of ten if i ask somebody what fragrance they're wearing they'll be wearing that but i have discovered a new one that she will also not like as well Yves Saint Laurent, and this is their more designer up-end collection, up-market collection. It's called Tuxedo. Nice Oh, my name. God, it's good. Introduce yourself to heavier fragrance or you're given a heavy fragrance and you wear it. And it either gives you... A, I get quite a lot of headaches from certain fragrance notes, especially gourmand ones. Like, I can't be anywhere near anybody wearing Angel or anything like that or mm. Poison. So anything sweet and sickly. But if you've got a fragrance and you love it, and you love it maybe on what is known as a dry down, spray it into the armpits of your coats, put them away, and then when you come wear it back out again, you'll end up with this subtle wafting of a dry down of fragrance. It's That's the only way nice. I can wear the Guerlain Chalimar fragrance because it's the dry down that is actually the real heart and the sexiness of it. So if you get given a fragrance you don't like, try that. I went to took or the baby spray it into your light fittings. Yeah, I went took the baby to. Um play gym last saturday and there was a guy in front of me because saturday's all daddy days they're the days with the dads take the kids off in general and this guy had fahrenheit on i swear i was like 12 again yeah it was it like was it like is, being at the school district yeah did you almost want to hump him no <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that good <laughs> I love someone it. gave me this as these a gift. fragrances are so beautiful this is gucci memoir i wanted to like this because I like the, the bottle. bottle. I know, I know you so well. And I automatically was predisposed Did you see the, to like it. <laughs> the video that, yeah, she's such a sucker like this. So the video that I created with Joe, we went to the Alchemist Garden of Gucci and right. I have never seen more beautiful vintage bottles and fragrance marketing bell jars with um scents built underneath on ceramic plates. So you lift it up and waft the bell jar, which is such a sophisticated way of, experience a fragrance for the first time rather than having somebody come up going I know. Gucci Memoir <laughs> Gucci Memoir which is awful because if you don't like it you're stuck with it yeah it's horrible it's like it feels like a really sexy soft porn 70s does it belong with one of those wicker chairs yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I've got you know what I mean yeah. yeah I know it's really that's light, isn't really it? unusual it's that's a, amazing it's gorgeous isn't it and it's super light really unusual it's really green and velvety Makes your mouth water. It's a little bit. It's definitely oak mossy, but it hasn't got the patchouli undertone. It smells a little bit irisy and iris buttery, but not with the heavy undertone. That's amazing. I mean, I don't have the language for fragrance. I love that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Gucci, stop speaking to me. It's stunning. It's really nice. Because you know that I don't like, like fragrance, but I I love fragrance bottles, bottles. I you love, love that. flacons you love candies yeah, yeah I do and I like that's what I decorate my house you with. are essentially a Japanese person yeah you know why they buy loads of fragrances but it's considered socially them. offensive to wear a heavy fragrance because it's basically encroaching on somebody's personal oh, space I which love. is basically your ideal that is so gorgeous unusual. isn't it I need to find the notes and I'll write them down below yeah because I haven't got a clue <laughs> Love that. I just know what I like and don't Very like. Very nice. Yeah, it's and then can we finish by talking about red lipstick? Yes mm. or no? But I like them on really, really big, gorgeous lips. I, and just, I don't think my lips are nice and get away with that. You've got a that. decent amount of lip. You have. A little bit of filler in there. So? Can I just say, seriously, I have not had my lips done for five years for everybody asking. It's still old filler stuck in there. Wow. There's have a video coming yeah. there. Yeah. I don't need more. But I mean, look at the size of her lips. But I wouldn't mine. wear this. I think this makes you look like this. Whereas it makes Joe look like this. But Dan doesn't like red lipsticks. No, That's well, no, he doesn't like any type of bold lip. If I wore orange or you pink wear red, or whatever, blue and green, he He's doesn't like, like no. it. Even though she has the most perfect lips, like literally a lip that any aesthetic doctor you'd open up a picture and go, "I want those," and they go, "Yeah, in your dreams, right?" I don't think men red like like red lips. I just and the reason is simple: not that they don't like the look of them, right? We can go all the way back to Marilyn Monroe and Addicted to Love by Robert Palmer and all that stuff. We know they're sexy, but you can't snog somebody with a red lip without getting all over your face. That's just my theory. But Mac Lady Danger, Universal Red suits everyone. A bit. So that's our road to Valentine's Day, which is basically 
Treat yourself. Treat yourself yeah. and also treat your lovely teens. Everybody you love. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Anyone you House are. fragrances, nice fragrances. Spray your roses with fragrance because they don't have any fragrance. And red lips, yay or nay, what do you think? Happy Valentine's Day. You can always sit with us. <laughs>